Can global warming leave us without fish and fishermen without an income? Or does the new climate come with new opportunities? Here in Italy and across Europe, scientists and fishermen are looking for answers. I started fishing right after leaving elementary school. I was seven or eight, and now I'm over 80. This fisherman's been working on Lake Garda all his life. In the past, there were plenty of eels and endemic fish. Now he says they've almost disappeared. He doesn't know why, but he suspects that this may have something to do with the changing climate harming the lake. About 30 or 40 years ago, we had four distinct seasons, spring, summer, autumn and winter. Nowadays, it's all become very confusing. Winters aren't as cold as they used to be, and summers are way too hot. To find answers, Lake Garda fishermen are working with scientists collaborating in a European research project, Climb Fish, that studies the effects of climate change on fishing and aquaculture. A local fisherman cooperative, which has 12 fishing boats, is providing some data and samples to the researchers. Since we saw a drop in the amount of fish caught, it was very important to work together with the researchers to give them everything necessary to understand the causes of these changes and to find possible solutions. Lake Garda is one of 15 case studies that include freshwater lakes and ponds, marine fisheries and fish farms from all around Europe. We have talked to the stakeholders and asked, what do you see as the main challenges in the future? And then we went back to our biologists and the modelers and asked them to adjust their models. Researchers see that the warming climate in Europe is making fish and shellfish grow faster, which may be good news for the industry, but overfishing and other threats are also on the rise. The main problem the fisheries are facing is the migration of stock to areas further north, especially in the northeastern Atlantic area. We also see that in the case of aquaculture, they're facing greater proliferation of parasites and more diseases. Based on their analysis, researchers are preparing a set of practical recommendations for policymakers and the industry on mitigating climate change effects. They're also preparing a software tool that helps to manage fish stocks more efficiently. We want to present different scenarios to users that are possible due to climate change. Within these scenarios, we're focusing on possible outcomes. What would happen if parameters change? Having this knowledge, the end users can take appropriate actions. From these sea trawlers in Sweden to innovative aqua farms in the Canary Islands, the changing climate is presenting the whole industry with new risks. That makes it important for EU states to review their standards and guidelines protecting fish and supporting the industry. It's up to us as human beings to do proper regulation of the stocks and to agree among each other. And then we will have a good fishery.